Hello, Serge here from the back porch. We have a clipboard out again today, so we have a question. And this is uh, from Hydro Dan. And uh, Dan says, I'm new to golf and I was thinking about wearing a glove. If I do, would there be any specific areas on the palm that would show signs of wear if I'm gri gripping the club right? Thank you, Dan. Well, that's a really good question, Dan. And uh, because uh, I think a lot of people often uh, say that, uh, gee, I wear gloves out really too fast. So normally what I would say to that is uh, that the gloves will wear out if there is friction. I mean, all gloves will eventually wear out, but they'll wear out a lot quicker if there is friction. And friction would, would mean that somewhere along the line, the club is moving in your, uh, in your hand so that the grip, especially being rubber against, against uh, leather gloves, uh, even some synthetics might last a little bit longer, but with leather, we'll start to wear it out. Friction is what's wearing it out. So the question becomes, what's causing the friction? I think probably the number one points to look at would be a incorrect grip. Sometimes if we hold the club too much in the palms of our hand, and, and, and it, it, it could slide around, especially on miss hits. And, and, and again, I'm, I'm going to probably go, I'm going to go down a record here saying that, that even one, if you have correct grip pressure and the correct grip, grip size, if you hit them badly enough on the toe or the heel, you, you very likely still could have twisting of the club in your hands. The second point would be if the grip is incorrect because it's too much in the palms, you, you could have slipping because when you, when you wrap it around in your palms, it's not a very tight, uh, a tight and shall we say forming grip in the, in the, in, in, in the hands because they, the grip should be held more in the fingers. If your grip is the wrong size, especially too small, you'd have to try, try to squeeze tighter to hold it, but again, it could slip in your hands. So we got, we got those three concepts of, of, of the grip. Then the last big thing about grip would be grip pressure. The, his, the uh, long time history of, of golf instruction talking about grip pressure is to hold it, hold it like a baby bird. Hold it like you have an open tube of toothpaste. You don't want to squeeze any out. Hold it you know, softly and, and you don't want tension. Well, yeah, I don't want tension, but you have enough, have to have enough grip pressure to hold it. I've seen many, many lessons where, where I've asked a student, I can just look at them and I see that they're, they're not holding a club, and I'd say, take your grip and hold the club up in the air because I want to I wanna grab the club from you. And, and they, they just stand there, and I can just twist it in their hands like this, or pull it right out of their hands. And I say, heck, you know, I mean, if I had a pencil here, I, I, most, people, most of you would hold a pencil uh, firmer to write your name. How about if you played basketball or you played tennis with two-handed tennis? I mean, do you hold it as light as you've been told to hold a golf club? I don't think so. So I think we've got to get into a good firm grip pressure. So those are the main issues of why a grip would wear out. Here I got I brought out three I have three gloves in my pocket. The first one, uh, the first one here will be a glove that I've been wearing for a very, very long time. Probably have played it's been in my bag months and probably have played at least, you know two dozen nine hole rounds with it and maybe a couple 18s and you'll see here looking at this glove that there are no wear marks on it normally a glove will have you get some wear on a heel pad over here or on the thumb pad and and this one's not showing as very little here on the heel pad and and this is just a all leather golf glove and and I'm not showing anywhere hardly at all and I mean you can see from the outsides of the glove it's getting quite dirty it's getting a little cracked on it and and uh but no wear marks because I have a good grip and I use a relatively firm grip pressure. If you did between one being holding it like a dead fish and five squeezing it till you till you almost pop your eyeballs out, the I'm about a three right in the middle, a good formal uh, business person handshake. Okay, now let's look at my second glove. I've played I've played a lot less with this glove, but it is it is still a leather glove and it is showing signs of wear. I have a mark here on the heel pad that's starting to show some wear, and I have one on the thumb, but they have not broken through yet. I've worn this glove to play quite a bit, and, and again, it's, it's starting to show wear, but I'll bet you it's been in my bag probably close to six months now. I mean, I don't play as much as I'd like to, but, but it's here. We have wear on the heel pad, and we have wear a little bit on the thumb, but they have not, they have not you know, created a hole yet. Again, been in the bag quite a while, and I've played quite a few rounds of golf with it. All right, now the last, the last glove we're going to look at is a relatively new glove. This one is, uh, I just put it in the bag, and uh, I think I've only worn it once 
uh, for nine for nine holes or maybe two at the most and you can see this one's basically brand new except it got a little dirty here in the thumb I must have had a dirty grip or something when I grabbed it but it's showing nowhere anywhere on the heel pad or the thumb so gloves should last fairly long if you take care of them they recommend you put them back in the in the package you got them you got them in for the most part once I take it out of the package I just usually fold them up and put them in my bag and and uh, and if they if I if I if they had uh, it was hot and I sweat a lot I'd probably hang it out on the outside of the bag to dry up or if it got wet in around because of a little rain or whatever I'd leave it on the outside of the bag to dry up. But gloves will last if you if you have the proper grip size and a good grip pressure to make sure that and lastly that you hold it firmly enough that the club won't just slip in your hands and your gloves should last. Why do you use a glove? Many people use it because they feel they got a better grip on the club and so. For Dan, if you haven't if you haven't really used gloves or not or whatever, you need to try them and make up your mind if you feel like you grip it better uh, with a glove or without. And uh, and that's just a personal preference. Most most golfers would say they definitely have a better grip on the club when they wear a glove. And especially uh, many many golfers who who perspire a lot, especially in the summer, feel that they got a better grip. And I've seen some of them have three, four, three and four gloves that they they hang out on a cart or on their bag. To, uh, like every other hole, they change one and they put it back on until it gets wet, and they they go to the one they've dried up. So you need to find out for yourself if you like it. But I think when you see how many people wear them, I think it's a pretty good safe bet that for the most part, most people grip the club better with a glove with a golf club. Well, that's it for the search for today on the back porch about golf gloves and, uh, and uh, golf clubs and having a better grip on it. So I'll be talking to you all again soon.